brought to you by Pepsi Zero Sugar. And we are underway. And it is B-Guard. We'll take him out of his own end zone. He's in the red. Monster is in the white. And this is a big part right here. This is that first possession, B-Guard as the eighth seed, taking on the number one seed, F&B Monster. He's almost got to come out and put points on the board. Yeah, he's uh, B-Guard, talking to him last night uh, in this morning a little bit, he said, I've actually played Monster twice this year. He's lost to him both times, so he's 0-2. 24-14 <laughs> right. he lost, and then his, his second game he played, it was 7-6. So a very low-scoring game, but he, he held Monster in that high-point offense uh, to only seven points. So it's Favre looking downfield, and he'll find Johnson. And we talked about that. David Johnson coming out of the backfield. So looking at the rosters here, I'm already gonna, I'm already gonna admit that I've already messed up here. So Monza is on offense. He is in the home reds. And here we go, Brett Favre slinging it outside to Cooks. And Cooks will be taken down at the 43-yard line, already in plus territory. Yeah, and what you're gonna see a lot of uh, from Monza in his offense is compressed formation, where you have all your receivers in the middle of the field. He wants to throw the ball all over the field. He loses play action right there, high point pass in the middle of the field. You go up top to a big receiver, Brett Favre. Uh, interesting pickup at quarterback for him yep. here. Uh, so he's got everything moving right now, three for three on this drive already. Well, Favre is a gunslinger. Ball all the way at the 24-yard line. Little play action, and here comes the blitz. And I'm telling you, B-Guard needed that one. Yeah, that was good pressure up that uh, right edge. A little block shed there. He went to a man-to-man -man coverage look, tried to stop some of those short crossing patterns over the middle of the field. Watch out this, though. Look at the defenders. They're split out wide here. That's a bad matchup for a, a compressed set like this, Scott. And once again, there's a high point to Randy Moss. Straight cash, homie, but it's third and one. Yeah, and you're, and you're seeing the frustration there from B-Guard. He's got to come into this game. He's the eight seed. You're going up against a guy like Monsta. He's ranked 15th overall in the Madden Championship Series standings. That means he is headed uh, most likely to the, the championship finals, competing for that $500. $100,000. Yeah, working on a little bit of seeding here. Third and one, and we're going to have our first timeout of the game. And Monsta just didn't like what he saw when he got up to the line. Yeah, and if you get a lot of cover, too, that's literally if those of you new to watching Madden. You have two deep defenders playing the deep part of the field. You see a lot of pop passes. Play action, throw in the seam. That's what you see most of the time, right there. And Julio Jones will bring it in, and we got our first score of the tournament. High point in another one. Yeah, right there. You, you get that matchup. You get those two high safeties. You want to try and split them. Right here, you can see. Play action. Get up top to a guy like Julio Jones. That's a matchup problem. Going against a linebacker there. Easy pickings right there for Monson on the first drive. And you talked about he did bring the heat. And Kendricks just couldn't match up against Julio Jones. And now b is going to have to answer here with 241. Remaining here in the first. This is almost a must-score drive. Yeah, it is. I mean, you, you get into a matchup like this, you, you know the caliber, caliber of player that Monster is, right? And getting off to a slow start is, is a really tough spot to be in because you're always playing catch-up. You don't want to play catch-up when you're playing a guy like Monster. Rodgers on first and 10, has time! And Johnson can't hang on, throwing into triple coverage. Yeah, I, I like that. That's that's a good uh, a good scouting report right there that he has on Monster. Monster plays a 46 style defense where he, he stacks the box with defenders, and he plays what's called the inverted cover two. That's a flipped version of what we were talking about the defense before. Instead of your deep secondary players uh, in the deep part of the field playing up in a de uh, splitting the defense in deep halves, you have your outside corners dropping. So good scouting report there uh, from B guard trying to get in the middle of the field. So second and 10 from the 25. Look at all those defenders in the box, Scott. Rodgers in the gun. Barking out the orders. Has time again, and there's Reed. So he goes to the tight end, and he picks up the first down at the 47-yard line. Yeah, and that's exactly where you want to attack right there. You can see the deep outside corners. They're dropping vertically. It's really difficult for them to get to the interior deep part of the field. So when you're facing this style of defense, you really want to attack the deep middle. Uh, so B-Guard, once again, sticking to the scheme, sticking to the way he feels, though, he has a chance to beat Monster here. And Monster's already burned his second time out here as they come out of first and 10 at the 47-yard line after the big reception by Reed. Of course, he was a finalist in the Madden Bowl two years ago when we were up here in the Bay Area. Lost to Eric Berry, though, at the Madden Bowl. <laughs> First and 10, and they hand it to Jordan Reed. And that's the cool thing about salary cap. You'll see guys in the backfield that don't normally carry. You'll see Deion Sanders out there at wide receiver. That's the cool thing about 
Madden. Do whatever you want in salary cap. You put guys all over the field. You get Jordan Reed at fullback, give him the pill, have him run the ball in the interior. You're actually going to see that a lot here today. Jordan Reed, a very athletic player, a, a big body tight end, but he has uh, the speed and separation to be able to run the ball inside as well. I like the imaginative offense of B-guard so far. Trailing by seven. We're under two minutes to go in the first quarter at the 42-yard line. Rice is in the slot. Rogers got to get rid of it. And we've talked about LT off the start, and he gets sack number one. Yeah, that's good pressure right there off that right edge. What I like about it here, watch, he plays coverage, 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 and then he only sends three defenders, and he's able to get LT free off that right edge. For those of you watching at home, that's where pressure will come from in these games. Watch the left side of the field, the right side of the field. Defenders putting pressure on quarterbacks in those areas. So that's going to bring up a second and long. Back on the other side of the 50 for B-guard. He goes bunch to the right. Rodgers gets rid of it quickly and cooks. You talked about those drag routes, but he ran into Deion Sanders, and here comes a little bit of hurry up on third and 15. Maybe he saw something he liked. Let's see if he goes back to the well here on That's Jerry a crucial Rice. third down. Yeah, Rice in the slot to the right, Amari Cooper in the slot to the left. Here comes the heat, gets rid of it, Cooper with a big grab down at the 25. Yeah, and, and this is time and time again, this is what we'll see here. Those little pop passes in the middle of the field, you can see pressure comes off the edge. There's only one defender in that area. When you get the ball up to a guy like Amari Cooper or Julio Jones that we were talking about earlier, it's really difficult for those secondary players to, to compete with them uh, in the height disadvantage. That's just disrespect right there, showing Xavier Rhodes on the sideline now after getting beat by Amari Cooper. 50 seconds to go here in the first. This is a seven point game. B guard trailing by a touchdown. Go trips to the right. Has time. Good, dude. Good user. Just no one was open. Almost a coverage sack, but gets it away second and ten. Yeah, and in, in talking with, again with, with B guard, he, he said that he actually chose to play in this Niners uh, event over the Seattle event because the competition. He felt like this gave him a better chance. He didn't want to go up against guys like Young Kiv up there, TT23. Felt like this was his, his tournament to win. Wow, goes airborne as CJ2K able to put a hand in the ground, but then he paid for it, but he picks up eight. Let's take a look at it again. Quick sweep off the edge right here, and then the big hit right, bang, right there. CJ, he holds on to the rock in this case, but typically you don't want Chris Johnson taking hits like that. You know, Dion was a 49er here at one point, won a Super Bowl. I don't think he's ever hit anybody like that, ever. And Reed fights for it. It's right at the marker, but I think it's going to be just shy, fourth and two. Yeah, he threw late in the flat there. That usually can, can cause problems for you. Never really want to throw late in the flat. Only bad things can happen. So we're already in our first tough decision of the game here for B-guard, fourth and two. Uh, you want to get points on the board. You, you got to get that confidence, that momentum on your side. And, and if you don't convert here, give the ball back to Monza without any points on the scoreboard is a tough thing to do. Well, just a little bit of a win, three miles an hour to the right, and he goes right down Main Street, and he's on the board. Cinderella holding on. You got you to gotta really look at that. I think that was a pretty good drive. Like, he comes out, Absolutely. He, he gives up a, 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 a touchdown within a minute and a half or so in that first drive. Monza just dominated with his offense there. But he comes back, he puts together a couple nice plays. He got diagnosed the defense. He made some reads. And he's got to feel good about that coming against the number one seed. Uh, monster. Well, it was the big sack that put him in second and 19 and just could never get back to the first down marker. So Monster with a four point lead will take over and Brett Favre will throw it outside, eh? It's nothing like playing John Madden and mentioning Brett Favre's name about 50 times. Ultimate team, baby. I mean, you got, you got Brett Favre, you got Jerry Rice, you got Deion Sanders out here, Pauly Krause. Keep naming them off here. Second and 10. And a good defensive play by Michael Kendricks. That'll bring up third and ten, so a three and out could be what the doctor ordered. Yeah, I like what B-Guard's doing here. He's, he's changed his defense up from cover two man to cover two zone, but he's got a tell right here. We know this is cover two zone, going for the pop pass. And, and here, here's the tell, Scott, okay? When he's, oh, he actually played uh, cover six there, but, or uh, cover zero. When, when he spreads the defense out wide, that's typically a sign this is zone coverage. Where if he plays cover two man, he's gonna have everyone lined up in the middle of the field. Quick play action gets to the outside, and there is David Johnson, who holds on to the 48. That'll bring up second and three, and Favre is feeling it. Yeah, Favre is, is moving the ball well here, but B-Guard changing his defensive play calls up from cover two man to cover two zone. That's a great way to try and confuse your opponent. Good check down. Good Goes check to down. Cooks. Cooks breaks a tackle. 
And he's to the 40-yard line. And worth noting here, Gibbs, is he's actually using David Johnson as more of a wideout. And he's using Reynolds in the backfield and then just drags Cooks underneath. Well, I mean, Cooks is a matchup problem all day long. All that speed, all that athleticism, really difficult to hang with him. Really, any corner in the game, even a Deion Sanders type, will uh, struggle defending uh, Brandon Cooks on short routes over the middle of the field. A well, drop pass on first and 10 will bring up second and 10 yards the game. Favre. There's that out route again, and Cooks has the speed to pick up the first down. Yeah, it, it, it all starts with, with a guy like Brandon Cooks. Alone. He's the tempo starter, right? When you have a guy that can uh, play the uh, stretch the field uh, horizontally, that opens everything up vertically for you, and that's what we keep seeing here. Go underneath the guy like David Johnson <laughs> oh with a big truck, guys like Brennan Cooks, and then you pop pass over the middle of the field to your big body guys like Moss and Julio Jones. So David Johnson says, get off me, and it's going to be first and 10 from the 12-yard line. So it can, still can pick up a first down. 3.07 to go here in the... First half, four-point lead for Monsta. He ends it off to David Johnson, who got a block on the edge, but Paul Krause able to fight through it and get the tackle. Yeah, one man to beat right there. Unfortunately, couldn't get that broken tackle, but another great drive right here for Monsta. Uh, Let's we'll see if we get another high-point pass. Watch out for a guy like uh, Randy Moss in this situation here. Second and five, bunch to the right. And he'll hand it to Johnson, and nice job getting in the backfield to force a third and nine. Yeah, and Vigard said that he will go down uh, into this bigger uh, formation when he gets into the red zone. He's usually playing uh, in that uh, dollar style defense, but he wants to get more linebackers in the 4-4 on the field when he plays in the red zone. Big third and nine, Favre. Throws to the corner, and it's overthrown, and so this is gonna bring up a fourth and nine. And now kicking the field goal for B-guard looks awfully good. It does. I mean, he gets his defensive stop that he needed here. He now is a one-possession game. You're going to get the rock back. Two minutes and five seconds to go in this first half. you got to put together a drive here, tie the ball game, and go into half. B-guard will receive the ball in the second half. That's so huge. This is a big drive coming up. And Dion will take it out of the end zone. Gets a block. And a nice return out to the 36. Looks good in that Niners jersey, huh? <laughs> right. I think the Cowboys fans would disagree with you, but the 49er fans here are absolutely loving it. I saw a couple 49er guys just shaking their head. They're like, yeah, yeah. he does. He looks real good in that jersey, man. <laughs> so 201, we'll get a little free play before the two-minute warning. So he'll have that and three timeouts to be able to move the ball. And he goes with the run. So he'll pick up three yards. It'll be second and seven here at the two-minute warning. You know, what the best players in the world do is they manage these situations properly, and they, they typically will succeed here. This is where you get a touchdown, give the ball back, or you take this entire minute and 57 seconds up with your drive and get a touchdown, and then you get the ball back in the second half to put together another scoring drive. And just like that, you're down, but starting the half, now you're up. So he's got to play this very well here. Rodgers throws it up to Amari Cooper and just cannot bring it in. Now he's just like that, he's in a third and seven spot here. You can see he rolls out, kind of forces this throw into coverage, hoping that uh, his halfback can make a play, but, uh, uh, I'm sorry, Amari Cooper can make a play, uh, but doesn't come down with the ball there on that throw. There's a big third and seven at the 38, 149 to go in the half. Trailing by a touchdown is B-guard. Rodgers. Good pressure. Throws an interception, and this might be six. He gets tripped up at the 21. It's Barron. Yeah, and, and listen, he said that he had an answer for going against Nickel Blitz. But watch this. Look at the user in the middle of the field. He drops back, sits over the middle of the field, cuts down, picks it off. And what forced that interception was the pressure off both edges. When you want to dictate to your opponent how you play the game, that's what happens. And Johnson, on a quick reception, takes it to the seven. And I tell you what, if that wasn't CJ2K, it would have been a pick six. Yeah, that's a good reason to have him on your team. He'd throw interceptions, he'll <laughs> chase down the guy that picked it off. It's classic Mike Vick, right? Back in the day. Absolutely. First and goal from the seven. 139, needs a goal line stand, and David Johnson will walk in for six. Yeah, and listen, now for B-Guard, you still have to have the same mindset, right? As you did before, it's scoring before the half and then get the ball back and score it again. You can still be in a very good situation. You're down 14, but you're about to have two opportunities here to put together two scoring drives to get right back in this ball game. So 14-point game now after the interception by Mark Barron. 
And Dion will take a knee, and the ball moved out to the 25-yard line, trailing by two scores. Yeah, minute 35, you got all your timeouts. The world is your oyster. You can do anything here. So you just got to play calm. You saw, you saw the emotion. He threw the pick, and he put his head down right away. You got to forget about that. Wipe that sweat off your brow and get back in here and get a, get a touchdown if you do guard. So 95 seconds before the half. He cut the lead to a touchdown. Looking deep, throws into coverage, and it's Deion Sanders. Big time <laughs> interception. Another forced throw down into coverage right there. You can see he's going for all the glory, but double coverage, and Deion Sanders gets the pick. So another turnover here for B-Guard in this late second half, first half. Johnson with a little stutter step, has some room. You know, we were talking to B-Guard yesterday, and he said in the in the two times that he's lost to Monsta, he was unable to stop the run. And uh-oh, here we go. Yeah, he said that was going to be a key to his success winning this game was stopping Monsta's run. Uh, and right there, he's giving up big runs, and it's causing problems for him already. So one timeout left, coming up on a minute to go. Back to the inside is David Johnson, and he'll pick up a yard. And B-Guard will use the timeout. Yeah, and B-Guard now, he's in a tough spot here. Already down 14, we went back, he said, what do the best players in the world do? They, they manage these end of the half situations correctly, and right now he, he's made uh, a couple mistakes. So they go to David Johnson, it's, it's the DJ show. To the 30 and 50 seconds, it's ticking by. Yeah, looking to put more points in the scoreboard here, right? I mean, this is this is how you win this game right here if you're monster, you get another touchdown here. It'll be tough second half for B-Guard. Yeah, even a field goal here would put him up three scores. Once again, play action to Reynolds. Quick throw to Jones, and Julio gets his second of the day. Yeah, and one-on-one -on -one coverage right there. Julio Jones, we saw the, the cover zero blitz right there from B-Guard. He's gonna go up top, Julio Jones, one more time, just like that. Down 21, here it is one more time. Play action, go up top, Julio Jones, too easy. And Paul Kraus would be sickened to see how he's playing coverage back there. But it's another one-on-one, -on -one, and now it's 24 to three. This is the start that you wanted if your monster is the number one seed. This is the start that you anticipated, right? This is exactly why you're ranked 15th in the world right now in the Madden Championship Series. Uh, and this is why he's made runs into our, our other EA Sports majors, uh, the Madden Classic, and he, he made a deep run in that tournament. Uh, this is fully anticipated from here, but B-Guard, you still have time. You still got two timeouts, 33 seconds here. Move the ball, trying to get in the field goal range. And he goes to CJ 2K, and he'll use his second timeout. So with 26 seconds to go, he, he's, he has to score here. Really important to, to get uh, some points on the scoreboard. Listen, you get the ball half to, that's gonna be a big spot. You still have one timeout, a lot to go here. Jerry Rice, that, that, that's the guy you got to start getting the ball to. He, you haven't really seen Jerry Rice show up for him on his offense. That's a matchup problem uh, on the outside for him uh, going against Moss's defense. So it'll be second and one, but the big number to see here is just 20 seconds left in the half. No timeouts, so he's going to have to work toward the sideline. Rodgers in the gun. Looking to the right. And a nice job dumping it off. And Johnson will get out of bounds at the 48. Yeah, that, that was a really good leak pass right out of the backfield. That we had pressures that were starting to roll off the edges there, and then he just dumped it off. And that's where we see a guy like uh, uh, Johnson have all that speed that can get off the edge there and, and cause uh, extra, uh, extra yak yards in that situation, yards after the catch. So uh, good little play right there. Now you're about you know 10 yards or so from getting into a field goal range here where you can feel really confident about it. So first and 10 from, from the 48, 14 seconds to go in the half. Time in the pocket. Got all day. Got uh, Throws to the sideline and cooks, and it's another INT, and this time it's DRC. Yeah, his pass lead looked a little bit off there. Now in Madden 17, you're able to put the pass wherever you want on the field. You can see he leads him upfield rather than leading him to the sideline. That's what gave the deep, uh, Rogers Camardi the chance to get the interception there. So a little bit of an error right there, not leading that pass to the sideline there for B-Guard. B-Guard from Salt Lake City, Utah. Trailing to the man from Tracy, California, FMB Monster. And to start the second half, B-Guard trailing by 21. He's gonna have to 
really get it going here. Hey, listen, Monster played a perfect half of John Madden football in our first half. All B-Guard's got to do is play a perfect half here in the second half. He can get right back in it. Split backs on first and 10. Rodgers throws right. off its back foot, and Jerry Rice dropped it, question mark. Jerry Rice, I mean, just as I was about to say, <laughs> great play right there. Jerry Rice, known for hanging onto the rock. He plays, oh, Jerry Rice just dropped the ball right out of his hands. That was a beautiful play design there. He runs some under uh, crossing patterns to open up the deep post behind it. Unfortunately, tough break there for B-Guard. Second and 10, goes to the ground game. Maybe picked up two, it's third and eight. Yeah, it, keep going back to Rice, right? He, he's making plays for you. Uh, he dropped that ball there, but he got open. He got into a good tender area of the field. Uh, you just gotta keep going back to the well. A guy like Rice can really help your offense out here. So third and eight at the 27, trailing by three scores. That's the pressure off both these edges again, left side and the right side. Rodgers, looking. Got to get rid of it in LT. Yeah, he's going to have to go for it here. You, you see a lot of times in Madden, right here, we look to see the rollout, just man-to-man -man coverage across the board. That other deep uh, underneath defender on the left side prevented that throw uh, to the slant that could, was looking like it was going to get open, but you can't force that throw into coverage. Fourth and eight. So a big fourth and eight. Trailing by 21, split backs. He's got Johnson and Jordan Reed. Left edge, Scott. Pressure. 26. Check, check. Here it comes. Roger steps up. And that's going to be a turnover on downs. And Monster will take over at the 27-yard line. Yeah, and just like that, we're, we're seeing some of the, the, the spots where B-Guard is, is forcing things and, and making it uh, quick passes. Uh, it's ultimately because of Monster's pressure. Monster's getting pressure against uh, B-Guard very quickly, and, and B-Guard's not picking it up, so he's got to get the ball out so quick that he's forcing throws into coverage, uh, and it's just not working out for him. Go line formation, and DJ just says, get off of me again. And when you're up, when you're up three possessions, yeah, you not? go down into a grown man's formation, <laughs> run the pill a little bit. See those custom jerseys that all the players got. I those are pretty those. sweet. I want those, those jerseys are awesome. So second and 12, quick throw to Julio. And Julio Jones forced out of bounds at the 13-yard line. Brett Favre's already got 222 yards passing. He's just been able to do whatever he wants in this game, offensively, defensively. He's in complete control. We said before, he's the number one seed in this tournament. He's ranked 15th in the world, and he's showing why here today, up 21 against Bigard. Little play action, Favre rolling out to the left. Got to get rid of it, he does, and oh no. If you got young kids, you might want to turn them away from the stream, because it's getting ugly out here. He just put the ball in a place where only his guy could catch it. Beautiful play. Listen, now he's blocked. Field goal. Extra point. Why Whatever not? Why not? Just for fun. <laughs> just for fun. So that'll uh, have the score to 30 to 3. Well, that's something you can tell your grandkids one day. I, I blocked a monster extra point. I blocked. Listen here. Inside son. Levi Stadium. I blocked monster's extra point. <laughs> It was fantastic. So right you, got, here, you can see the pass, get the ball up to Moss. That's a, a big time strategy you're gonna see here in a lot of these guys in this tournament. Get the ball up into a high spot in the back of the end zone where only your big guy can catch it. We're seeing Moss do it to perfection here in this game. Nice blocking on the outside for Jordan Reed and he'll get to the 38 yard line. And it's a tall task, 27 points. I'm not saying it's over. I'm not saying go ahead and make lunch reservations. I, it's just going to be in a, you know, it's, it's not impossible. It's still problem. You, you need everything to go your way. I mean, and you need everything to go your way starting now. I mean, you need to get down the field in about a minute here and score a touchdown, get the ball back, get off the field. I mean, you need to score quickly here if you're B-guard. Uh, you are running out of time right now going against uh, Monster. I don't know about Randy White in that 49ers uniform. That does not sit well with me. Second and six, and there's the GOAT from Mississippi Valley State. Jerry Rice. That's a nice play right there. He, again, gets that cover two style defense. You can see here, a little play action. He's going to hit the corner, and he, this time he throws that pass lead towards that left sideline, and you can see how that works out for him there. Possession catch on that sideline. Big play for B-Guard. That's, that's how you get back in this game. Now you need a touchdown. Yeah, good job working on Deion Sanders over there, who already has an INT. 
So ball to 26, first and 10, trailing by a million. <laughs> Up underneath, and CJ2K is taken down at the 20 yard line. Right now, nine for 18, three interceptions, all those interceptions based off of Monster dialing up heat, and that's really caused problems for B-Guard. Second and five, going back to the ground game, and then he'll move the chains. It'll be first and 10 at the 15. Ball in the 15 here, this is a good spot where you can get uh, the ball up into the back of the end zone yourself here if you're B-Guard. Uh, Monster, though, has defended it really well uh, so far in this game. You remember on B-Guard's first possession, he held him in the red zone to only a field goal. So you got Bunch to the right. Easy, 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 easy. Little bit of motion. Hand it off to the big fella. <laughs> and he'll take it down to the four yard line. Be a big truck guy. But now you've got ball in the four yard line. This is where you've got to get a touchdown on your first play here. You already let about two minutes off the clock here. You're down a million, as you said. So B guard <laughs> a lot of work to do here. Got to get a touchdown. It's at least over 9,000. First and goal at the four. I formation. And they hand it to Cooks. I've seen a lot of things, but it, that, that's the first time I've seen that. First time I've seen Brandon Cooks in the backfield this year, but why not when he's got all that speed? Kind of an option. So the power O loses two yards. And here we go back to the gun split. Rice to the left, Cooper on the right. Rice looks like a good option here, Scott. Back in the end zone. There's the motion. Five on the play clock. Rodgers. Rolls out. And that was almost picked off by Rhodes. Good coverage right there. He goes to a cover four in the red zone. But <laughs> there was a window there to Jerry Rice. You're going to see here a little replay. Roll out, but he, now he's going to force the throw again. Almost another interception. We've been fourth on the day for Aaron Rodgers right now. Only completed nine of 19 passes so far in this game. Third and goal. B guard trying to get his first touchdown of the day. Throws it to the end zone. It nearly picked off. Yeah, and, and he's going to have to go for go for it here. Right now, he he's forcing throws. A lot of this coverage right here you're seeing from Monsta in the red zone is usually a strategy you see from uh, competitive Madden players. Drop a lot of your defenders to protect uh, the short part of the field here. See one more time here for Monsta. Fourth and goal from the sixth. Trailing by 27. Bibigard loads it up on the right. Rodgers has a man break free, and there's Cooks. And he gets the pay dirt for the first time today. Yeah, that was that was good play execution. You saw that he cleared out uh, that route there for Cooks by running verticals in that right bunch. Uh, and then that forced Monster to run with the vertical patterns towards the back of the end zone, open up the underneath pattern right here. You can see right here, verticals run deep. You can see Monster was stuck on a deep user in the middle of the uh, deep part of the back of the end zone. Uh, and that's where Cooks got wide open. And Monster will think about it, and then he'll take a knee. So now you got a 20 point game, 546 left overall, 46 seconds remaining in the third. Crazier things have happened, right? I mean, all you need is a big hit, one, one hit stick fumble, uh, you get a drive, put together another touchdown, and you are right back in this. I mean, I like Monster uh, taking the foot off the gas a little bit here, trying to run the clock out, but uh, you know, at the same time, I mean, you really just did whatever you wanted on the offside of the ball when you were passing. So, it's tough to kind of go away from it, but he wants to get the clock moving a little bit here. It, it, you can't can't really go against that that strategy for Monster. They come back to the line here at six. Shotgun hands it off underneath again. He fumbles it and he scoops it and we'll have a score. Kendricks will take it all the way back. And you talked about it off the top. David Johnson coughs it up. He's got fumbleitis, man. Listen, he's great, but that, that's the turnover you need to get right back in it. You can see, run the ball, he gets the turnover. Uh, instant replay, is he down though? Let's see if he's I down. Know, his uh, knee might be they down. Need re they need to see. re look at this, because yeah. we'll see here. It looked like the ground might have caused the fumble. His knee might have been down. Let's see. Here we go. And that's what they're going to call. They're going to say that he, the ground caused the fumble, and so just when B guard thought he had a little luck, no. Nope. <laughs> now he's got to go back and play defense. And here you can see Monster, he's going to go back to the passing game. Uh, and for good reason, he's been able to throw the ball all over the field uh, in this one. Here we go. Eagle. So first and 10. Surprised he's not going to just take this through the fourth quarter. And I think that's what he'll do, Gibbs. Throw up your fours. It's a 20-point game with five minutes to go. Yeah, and right now, B-guard, you need to... Uh, 
need to buckle up here. You need to start sending a little bit more pressure. He's been playing a lot of coverage, and when he when he does go to those blitzes, Monson just sniffed them out in that first quarter, and he just just tore them apart, Scott. Uh, so let's see if he dials up a little bit more pressure here in this fourth quarter. He needs to start uh, setting the tempo a little bit uh, higher here in the fourth quarter if he wants to get back in. Good play, good D. Big time hit in the backfield, a little user hit stick style. Trying to make him cough it up once again, second and 12. And if that fumble scoop and score would have oh, stayed, that oh. would have made things interesting. Oh my goodness, it would have. That was, I mean, that's what we needed. That's what the fans wanted. Need it. So Johnson will take it to the 50 yard line. That'll make it third and seven. 422 to go. That man right there. It's down 20. David Johnson, watch out for him here again, though. I mean, now we're going to get Reynolds in the backfield. But... A little quick pass. I think they're going to mark him just shy, fourth and two. There you go. This is a spot right here for Bigard. He's going to go for it. This is your shot. This is this is almost as good as that uh, that fumble. Almost. <laughs> yeah, you could, not going to get a touchdown off this, most likely. Quick throw, and he'll move the chains. Too easy. Too easy. And the clock is tick, tick, ticking away. Yeah, you know what I really like about the, the scheme right here for what we're seeing from Monsi? He, he's running the play action, which is going to help open up those seams uh, from that gun tight. And he has Cooks in, as you said before, David Johnson. David Johnson on a drag is a monster. I mean, he, he's going to truck people over. So that's a really, uh, I like that. I like seeing him split out wide there. So good good strategy, good depth chart decision by Monsi. And I think that's what he said. He's like, basically, I'm drafting a fourth wide receiver. Yeah, I mean, his route running uh, is really high. It's one of the highest in the game. Uh, so that having him out wide as a, as a receiver is a great option. Second and 11. This time he'll use him on the ground. You see Dawkins coming up there on the hit. It'll be third and eight. And B-Guard already thinking about those timeouts. Yeah, you got to. I mean, you need to get the ball back it quickly here. You're, you're down three scores with Monster having the ball. 2.47 to go here in the fourth turnover. You remember he talked about his friend Trevor that he used to play against. He used to beat him down time and time again. That made him get better. I wonder what Trevor's thinking at home right now. Shout out to Trevor. He said Trevor just beat the brakes <laughs> off of him every time they played last year at Madden 16. But then this year, after all those games, uh, Beekar played over 200 games to qualify for this tournament. He went 180 and 60. That was just about how many games he played. It was just absolutely fantastic uh, performance to get here to this this event. So after the long field goal, it's now a 23-point game. He's going to need three scores, a couple two-point conversions. You mentioned stranger things have happened, but I think in my mind, B guards already thinking about Salt Lake City and getting home. Good users underneath. And a good toss downfield. And he's going to have to go the hurry up after Cooper moves it up to the 49 yard line. Really need to get in the end zone before the two minute warning. He's got a man deep. Got him. And who else? It's Jerry Rice, the GOAT. And that's the play to get back in it right there. Now you get an onside kick. A little luck go your way one time. Big time play. You can see we had a one-on-one -on -one coverage deep downfield. He's going for two. Rodgers, quick throw. And Paulson. That, that, that's a shame. Yeah, he, had him, he had him open. But right here you can see one-on-one -on -one coverage. Jerry Rice going against another former legend. Uh, Mel Blunt right there. And Rice wins that matchup. You can see Mel Blunt. My bad. My bad. <laughs> Onside time, though. I'm not fast. Here's the onside kick. Scooped up by Randy Moss. He's going to about do it right there. No timeouts left for B-Guard. He'll have the two-minute warning. Needs to force a three and out. You know, and again, talking with B-Guard, uh, he, he knew the, the, the competition uh, going into this matchup. And when we were talking, uh, just kind of talk about strategy and, and how he wanted to play Monster. Uh, I asked the question, I just said, hey, if you, know, if you don't win the tournament, I fully anticipate you think you're going to win, right? Uh, and, and he said, well, if I don't win, I really think Monster's going to win, right? So that's, that's the amount of respect that he has for him. That's what he is thinking. Everyone knows how good of a player Monster is, so he kind of ran into a tough matchup here in his first round game. 
David Johnson will move the chains, and that will probably move Masta on. He's going to face the winner. Is Mute is cool in Nini. We'll tell you. We'll tell you more about how Nini got that name. It's a good, sto good story. And he's already in the victory formation here. With 135 to go, under 10 on the play clock. And Brett Favre does a little dance and takes a knee. Scott, have you ever been up this many points in a game before? Absolutely. Yeah? Absolutely. Do you QB knee or do you go for more points? Be honest. Be very I'm, honest. I'm an old school guy. I'm an old man. So I'm, take, I'm taking the knee and moving on. What if it's about someone you really didn't like? Oh, yeah, then I'm putting up points. <laughs> That's my guy. If it's someone I know, I'm probably putting up more points. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. You know the guy on the other end. You want to salt in the wounds as much as you can. But I think for, for Monster here, he's just thinking, let's move on. Get out of here with a, with a W. Great first game right here. He controlled it from the, the jump, right? We, we saw how uh, in control he was of his passing offense. But really what, what I think separated this game and what allowed him to win was his defense. He had those a lot of those interceptions over the middle of the field. A lot of it was based off his ability to generate quick pressure on B-Guard. You know, B-Guard actually said, he said, there, I have no problem picking up pressure, right? So he, that, he felt very confident being able to, to pick up what Monza wanted to do, uh, but ultimately he, he couldn't get it done. Uh, Monza's moving on, B-Guard's going home. So GG's, that's your final score. Monster 33, B-Guard 16. And so the one seed will move on to the second round. We mentioned not many one seeds winning this thing. And a nice round of applause for both Monsta and B Garden. Back here in the booth with Scott Cole and Steven Gibbs. And what happened? We thought it was going to happen that way. You anticipated that Monsta was going to put on a, uh, a really impressive performance, and he did. Yep. I really was, though, was just impressed with his ability to, to generate a lot of those turnovers with his, with his blitz pressure. Uh, Bigard really felt confident that he was able to pick that, those blitzes up, but ultimately he just had no answer. He, he would, didn't really keep guys in the backfield. He, he tried to uh, get the pass out quick over the middle of the field, and he was just lurked over the middle of the field by Monsta all game. So what does that do for Monster? Is, is that increase his confidence or he, he knew that he, he knew, knew that, that was going to happen? He, I mean, he felt he was going to win that game. He knows that he's the one seed again, fifth, ranked fifteenth in the world in the Madden Championship Series uh, rankings. That that's really impressive. Uh, it, listen, he knows that he's a great player. He knows he's got to be the favorite here today. Well, let's go to the third member of our broadcast team, 49ers insider Joe Fan. Gentlemen, thank you. Standing by with the one seed, Monster, one. How we doing, man? 33-16, a commanding victory. Do you come in as the one seed feeling any sort of pressure? Uh, no pressure. I'm confident. I feel like I'm going to win. I already know I am. I'm very confident. Already knows he's going to win. Take me through before halftime. Three interceptions really took a commanding lead that you never gave up. 4-6 uh, D, uh, that's my regular D. Very confident in it. I'm, I'm going to get the job done in it. Offensively, any strategy? Any, I mean, you have such a, a cast of characters in terms of your legends on the roster, a mix of legends and current players. Who's your go-to guy? Uh, Randy Moss. Randy Moss, fantastic. Juan, best of luck in the next round. Thank you. Gentlemen, back to you. All right, well, there's the uh, number.